Welcome to the demonstration of 32Soft's Consignment Returns Data Loader. This data loader has been designed to automate the complicated process of consigned inventory credit returns, as well as consigned inventory scraps. Using the reported consigned inventory data, the consignment returns loader safely generates multiple entries in corresponding QAD screens, pending invoice maintenance 7131, sales order maintenance 7.1.1, shipper pre-shipper workbench 792, shipper confirm 795, and unplanned issue 3.7 for scrapped material. Let's take a look at how Consignment Returns Data Loader can provide you with great efficiency, visibility, and control while eliminating inconsistencies, inaccuracy, and errors. When we open the Data Loader, we see a familiar Excel spreadsheet with the addition of the Data Loader banner. The banner includes filtering options and action buttons, which allow us to download data from and upload data back to QAD. This tool has two tabs. One is used to process returns to consigned inventory, or credits, and the other tab is used to process consigned inventory, scrap. Let's take a look at how the credits are processed, returning inventory back to consigned inventory and giving credit to the customer for what was reported initially as used but was not really used. We need to enter the customer to process the credits for, and optionally, a date range for the invoices, and also optionally, an item range. We also have the option to enter an invoices list and an items list in the detail lines. Then, click the download button. As soon as we select any of the action buttons for the first time, a login screen appears. As with all 32Soft data loaders, the consignment returns loader uses genuine QAD authentication logic to validate user ID and password. Let's log in. The data is downloaded and we can see the details for the consigned items used on these invoices including the price and discount, if any, from the invoice, which will be used for the credit to the customer. By default, the credit sales order to be generated is called CM, plus latest invoice number, same as the PO number for the credit sales order, and debit sales order remarks. These can be manually changed if needed. The PO number for the debit sales order is the same as the PO number of the most recent invoice downloaded. The location used to process the credits is ConClean. It can also be changed manually if needed. In order to process the credits, we simply enter the quantity to return to stock and press the Upload button to send our information to QAD. A pop-up screen is displayed showing the status of the upload, and it will indicate if the upload is successful or not. Just like all 32Soft data loaders, the consignment return loader validates data in the cells against genuine QAD logic and will return an error message if inaccurate data is submitted, as in this case. We can use the Find Error button to find and fix all errors in the file. Cells that contain errors are highlighted in red. When we place the cursor in the cell, the reason for the error is displayed we must correct all errors before resubmitting our data. Let's try to find the next error and fix it. Let's see if there's another error. There are no more errors, so let's try to upload again. This time the upload is successful and the shipper number generated is downloaded. We can review the shipper by using the shipper button. We can review the debit sales order created by using the debit SO button. We can review the credit invoice generated, just click the credit invoice button. The user will have to print and post the pending credit invoice. We can review the item inventory by selecting an item and then clicking the Inventory button.
Now, let's take a look at how the scraps are processed. We simply switch tabs. Again, we need to enter the customer to process the credits for, and the site or ship from, and optionally a date range for the shipments. Then we click the download button. The data is downloaded, and we can see the details for the customer consigned items shipped in the selected date range. The scrap is processed by default using ConClean location, which can be changed if needed, as well as debit account 8125, which can also be changed. In order to process the scraps, we just have to enter the quantity to scrap and press the upload button. The information will be sent to QAD. As always, a pop-up screen is displayed showing the status of the upload and it will indicate if the upload is successful or not. And as we've seen, the loader validates data in the cells against QAD and will return an error message if inaccurate data is submitted. This time the upload is successful and the shipper number generated is downloaded. We can review the shipper by using the shipper button and we can review the item inventory by selecting an item and then clicking the inventory button. As demonstrated, this tool enables you to process credit returns and scraps for consigned inventory in QAD quickly and effortlessly by selecting required quantities to process from the downloaded list. The consignment returns data loader will increase productivity, eliminate errors, and contribute to your bottom line. For more information about this and other productivity tools, or to start your free 60-day trial, email us at contact at 32soft.com and please be sure to visit our website to sign up for our free educational webinars www.32soft.com Thank you for your interest in our productivity tools and for watching this demonstration.